Darrell Jazz Johnson, MSG Varsity, Fathers and Sons, RisingJazzSports.com. I'm here with ESPN's uh, Chris Broussard. Chris, how are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? Good, thanks. Uh, let's jump right into it. New York Knicks, they haven't looked good uh, so far this year. Do you expect that to change, or do you expect them to, to continue to have a lackluster season? Well, I expect it to change. I think they still have a great shot at finishing fourth or fifth in the Eastern Conference because the East is so bad. If they were in the West, they'd be in trouble. Um, their roster, even if they're playing well, just wouldn't be as impressive in the West. But in the East, once you get past Miami, Chicago, Indiana, uh, it's wide open with Brooklyn struggling. And because of their age, I, I think Brooklyn will get it together and play better and make the playoffs. But they just may not be the team a lot of people thought they might be. Uh, so the Knicks should be fine. Um, people don't seem to forget that J.R. Smith was out those first five games. N not that they should have lost to a team like Charlotte at home and things like that. But without Tyson Chandler, who's hurt, with J.R. Smith missing some games, you know, you could expect some struggle. So I think they'll turn it around, still have a chance to finish fourth or fifth in the East. Uh, and to be honest, if they get out of the first round, they'll be doing well. They're not, they're not going past the second round. There's no chance. I know this isn't his first return, but it's still a big buzz when Jeremy Lin returns uh, to Madison Square Garden. What were your thoughts on Lin Sanity and his play now? Lin Sanity back a few years ago? Yeah. I mean, I, you know, it was nice. It was exciting. I thought it was, it became bigger because it happened in New York. Everything does. If you're bad in New York, it's going to be worse than if you were bad somewhere else. If you're good in New York, you're going to get praised more than you would somewhere else. So I thought it was nice. I thought it was great for the Knicks. It, it brought some excitement to that team. And um, I never thought he'd be a star. But I have to be honest, he's actually been playing very well lately. You know, we know he's had a few 30-point games. And uh, he's really playing well in Houston. So I'm, gonna, I'm interested to see what he does tonight. Final question, how good are the undefeated Indiana Pacers? They're very good. They're very good. I still like Miami in the East. If, if they play up to their full potential, you've got the best player in the league and LeBron James, and then you've got a top 10 player when healthy and Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh, a top big man. Uh, and remember, Miami hasn't been healthy the last two years. Chris Bosh missed a bunch of the playoff run two years ago, and Dwayne Wade was injured for the run last year. So if they're healthy, they should be better than ever. Um, I think they're coasting. I think they're lollygagging right now. That's why they've struggled. Uh, but the Pacers are capable of beating them, but if both teams play their best, I still think Miami wins that series. All right, that's right now, if it ended today, Paul George would be the MVP. I don't even think that's a, a controversial statement right now. Like, they're undefeated, he's playing great, and LeBron's, you know, his team ain't playing as well, and out west, you know, Clippers have some losses. Nobody on San Antonio that's MVP. Golden State has some losses. Um, you know, Houston has some losses. So I go with Paul George right now after eight or nine games. <laughs> All right, thank you very much for that early season prediction, and we'll hope to catch up with you during the, uh, the rest of the NBA season. Thanks a lot.